Hello all. Today we'll discuss introduction to the law of torts. What is law of tort? The word tort has came from the Latin word which means totem. The meaning of tort means twisted, crooked or unlawful. It is equivalent to the English term that is which means wrong. Tort can be divided into two types which is civil and criminal. Tort is found in common law system England for actionable harm or wrong. It is the branch of law dealing with liability for such wrong. Let us deal further. There are some definition of tort which is given by some jurist, Salmond, Winfield, Fraser and the Law of Limitation Act of 1963 which also defined the definition of tort. According to the Salmon, he said it is a civil wrong which where the remedy is common law action for unliquidated damages. We will deal the meaning and definition of damages, types of damages further. But now you should understand the definition of law of tort given by Salmon. He said which is not exclusively the breach of contract for, or the breach of trust or merely an equitable obligation. According to Winfield, he said tortious liability arise from the breach of duty primarily fixed by the law. This duty is towards the person generally and this breach is redressable by an action for unliquidated damages. So you might be wondering everywhere the word unliquidated damages is, is coming. So what is the meaning of unliquidated damages? The damages are two types. First, it is liquidated and unliquidated. Liquidated damages that the amount which you are claiming to the court and unliquidated damages that you don't know how much amount should be court. In that case, the court decides about that how much amount you will receive in return of damage. So, let us move to the another definition given by Fraser. Fraser said, it is an infringement of a right and rem of a private individual giving a right of compensation at the suit of the party. The definition given by the Limitation Act of 1963. It says that tort means civil wrong which is not exclusively a breach of contract or a breach of trust. We will deal law of limitation in detail further. It is also known as Parisima Adhinyam 1963 in Hindi, where the definition of Apkritya is given. That is the types of tort. What is what are the different types of tort? The top tort is divided into three categories. First is the intentional tort, negligent tort, and strict liability. There are now certain general defenses also you can take in law of torts. That is voluntary non-fit injury, inevitable accident, act of God, mistake, necessity, sovereign immunity, private defense. So these all are the general defenses and each of the general defenses we will discuss it in a very detailed video. Now you might be wondering somewhere you are reading law of thought and somewhere you might be reading law of thoughts. So which one you should refer? In books, in every law textbook, you might be seeing law of thoughts. So there are two definition given by the two different jurists. According to the first, the law of tort. This theory is found by Winfield. That is the singular term law of tort. He said all wrongs act done against a person shall come under law of tort unless it has a legal justification for it. All wrong done comes under the tortious act respective of it comes under the specific tort. Now, let us move on to the law of torts. It is given by the Salmond. According to his theory, law of torts, that is the plural form, according to him, there was no law of tort, only law of torts. And there is no general principle of liability. But the plaintiff has to place the wrong act in one pigeonhole theory. So there is a different theory in this. You have to learn a pigeonhole theory. In this, Salman gave this pigeonhole theory and he said, he quoted an example for this. He has said that he has a place one tot in one hole, like one wrong in one hole. 
for claiming damages. If he is placing defamation, then he should claim for defamation. If he is claiming for act of God, he should claim for act of God. So by that, he will claim for the damages and damages with, which can be liquidated or in unliquidated form. Thank you so much.